Alright, I'm going to keep this brief. This is uh, another lab demonstration video. This is basically just a uh, ALU with like opcodes and registers. So there's the registers, the uh, decoder plus, or the opcode decoder, and uh, the ALU part. And this is a multiplexer. And then that's just the uh, counter with a uh, decoder for the stages. And then this is just a tester slash debugger circuit down here. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And uh, it starts off in the last state. So blue means it's resetting the counter because it's having to be mod 8 when it's usually a mod 16 counter. So uh, some opcodes we can do are these. So uh, if we want to do like I don't know, the most, most exciting is uh, just adding the rest of just usual uh, bitwise logic. So I uh, don't really have any uh, kind of buttons that will uh, pull down stuff, so I had to make my own. I don't have that many resistors for this kind of thing. So uh, to do adding, it's opcode 10. So in binary, it's just one zero one zero. And so uh, also this, uh, if I can get it in there. The data, uh, data entry for the data slash uh, opcode bus or whatever is um, big Indian, and the registers and everything else is little Indian. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. So on count one. Okay, this isn't the bounce, so I'm gonna have to do this a couple times. So count one loads that into the register, or the uh, opcode into the register, and we can test that with this little wire with a red LED down here. So I'll plug it in to, uh, so that's a little Indian, so that's a zero down here, so this should be off. Yep, and the next one should be on, next one should be off. Next one should be on. Yep. So we will step it ahead after changing the data. So I'll just set it to like a, something easy where I don't have to change these a whole bunch. And that's just um, just make it 16. So we're adding 16 and 16, which will just be carry out and whatever else. So. Uh, one, two, three, and so operand A, we're going to put that on. Operand B, or A, should have uh, all ones. Yep. Yep. And so then, uh, we'll check after what was it? The next, uh, the next count is 4 for operand B. So that should be loading the same thing into operand B. Yep. Alright. And so that means we got a... I'll go ahead and just throw this over here because this only uh, outputs something to the result register when um, when uh, it's whatever counts seven. Actually, I'll do this in the carry out so it's easier to see. And that's pin. I think it's that one. All right. So that this should only light up. But I guess I forgot to clear that register or that uh, D flip flop. So it would normally light up anyway, or uh, it would be off right now if I cleared the register, but I didn't. So set that to that, and uh, we'll go ahead and check on the regular register. Yep. That's all ones too. And the carry out, so that's correct. 
Okay, so we can tap into the, uh, what is it? Three what this is. <laughs> uh, my wiring's a mess. So this is the opcode decoder. Or no, this is the AOU, so if we want to see what opcode we're doing, this is AND. So if I probe, right here it should be off. Yep, and then the next one, same story, yep, and only when I go to the last one should it um, ever light up that LED, yep. Alright, so that's that, and uh, I'll just shuffle some papers around. I was going to show a simulator for it that I built, but I didn't finish this yet. So, uh, next best thing is the uh, Logisim thing, the schematic. So this is what it is. The one on the left is the first draft, which has the uh, Logisim stuff and not uh, raw gates. So, uh, there's the entire thing. And uh, these got cut down the uh, knots, and I just made uh, their own, uh, whatever it is. It's late, so <laughs> describing this is a bit difficult. Anyway, so, yeah, it's pretty much the same circuit. And that wraps up. Bye.